Hey everyone, Jacefer here with my latest custom build. Here we have Jay the Surfer waiting at the entrance. Let's see where he's at. He is standing in front of the family suburban home. This house features three bedrooms, two full baths, a three car garage, large great room, office, indoor laundry room, and a large kitchen. Let's take a closer look. Here we have the nicely landscaped front yard. There's the pine tree. I didn't want to center the tree in the middle of the yard, so I kept it off-centered. This house is supposed to sit on a corner lot. Flower beds do wrap around the front of the house, around the walkway up to the front door. Nice large driveway with a three car garage. I have a little car inside. I if I can get that out of there. It's a small custom built car. Very simple. I like it. The other door does open up. I had a little bit of a problem with the base plate. It doesn't quite match, but it looks good. Looks like this grass may need a little bit more watering. Really nice yard. Here on this side of the house, we've got an electric panel and a gas meter. Have a set of double gates. They do open up. Window inside the garage. Have a pathway along this side. We have a side entry with a porch light. Here we have the backyard. Here we have the fish pond. That was fun to put together. And off to the left we have a little tool shed. The roof on this does come off. Got a lot of tools. This model is so big it's hard to walk around. Here's the back patio, chimney. First time I have ever put an air condition on a house. And that is a real chimney. didn't have quite enough fences to go around the whole house. I just put them on the back fence. This side of the house is plain. But most houses I've seen always have one side of the house that there's nothing in there. Have a little bench. This is the master bedroom and the master bathroom. I'll show you that in a bit. Here's the roof of the house. Let me show you how that comes off. The roof on this model is easy to remove. It's set up like a traditional Lego modular home. Just lift it up. It slides out of the way. 
The roof is very heavy. As you can see, there are a lot of rooms. So let's point out a few of the rooms. Here we got the three car garage, laundry room, office. This is the porch, the foyer, the great room, the kitchen. We got the hallway, bedroom one, bedroom two, guest bathroom, the walk in master closet, the master bathroom with walk in shower, and the master bedroom. So let's take a walk through. Here we have the tile foyer. It leads into the great room. Here we have the little living room with a brick fireplace and an entertainment area. That's a large TV. Be perfect to watch the game. Set of French doors lead out in the backyard. A little dinette set with a bowl of fruit. It's making me hungry. Here we have the kitchen. We got the stove and oven, double basin sink, a dishwasher, and the fridge. All the cabinetry is custom. Here we have a breakfast bar. It's like it's time for lunch. Here we have the laundry room with a utility sink. Here we have the washer dryer combo. It does lead out into the garage. Very large garage. And here we have the hot water heater to heat up the water. First time I ever put a hot water heater in my house. And through this set of doors is the home office. It has hardwood floors and a bookshelf full of books. There's even maps hanging on the wall. So they must like maps. Here we have the hallway, which leads to three bedrooms and a bathroom. The hallway is six studs wide. Plenty of room. Here is the first bedroom with a set of bunk beds. Looks like it's a little boy's room. There's also a desk with a picture of Lego. So he must be into Lego. Here we have a little girl's room, complete with a nightstand, bed, and dresser. Yes, there is a sticker on that element. It came from one of the friend sets. Here we have the guest bathroom. Moving on to the master bedroom. Got a large king size bed. Have a little TV hanging on the wall. Set of French doors that lead out into the backyard. A little sitting area. Here we have a little door that leads into the master closet. I have some torsos with hands hanging from the hook. Sorry, no guns this time. A 
And here we have the master bathroom. Nice large tub. Double vanity with two mirrors. A toilet. And a shower. Very large master bathroom. I have one more feature to show you and that is the battery powered lights in this model. All the electrical is contained into the roof. Let's take a closer look at what was done. Here we have the power box. Let's flip the switch on to activate the lights. Here is the air condition again. This is an actual switch to turn on and off the lights. So let's rotate it. You can see we have lights. There is 18 LEDs in total. Each room has its own individual bulb. It's even bright with the room light on. As you can see, I can rotate it and turn it off or on. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Looks like someone's home. Let's take a quick 3D view of the house in the dark. So here's the front yard. As you can see the porch has a light, the two front bedrooms, and the little office. The garage has its own light. There's my little car. My apologies about the focus. There's the laundry room. See right inside the kitchen. All we clear down into the hallway. back part of the house. Didn't have enough lights to put patio lights. It'll look really cool. Here's the master bedroom. The master bathroom with the block glass. See? Nobody can see you in there. And here's this side of the house with the bathroom windows. This concludes the walkthrough of the family suburban home. It is packed with lots of features. Jay the Surfer even approves of it. So stay tuned for more custom builds, tutorials, and reviews. Thank you all for watching.